Ever heard of a caracal? Ever heard a caracal kitten scream? I let him out. Uh, I let her out whenever she wants. Uh, pretty sure she's in here. Yep, there she is. Now, every time, I touched up on this in the last video, every time you go to pick your Virginia possum up, they'll always do that with their mouth. See how she opens it? It doesn't matter, like, it's weird. Like, I can be picking her up and she'll be fine and she'll be, you know, crawling around sniffing, giving me kisses. And if I put her down for two minutes and she finds a spot to sit and I go to pick her back up, she'll do that every time. I don't know if she has like short term memory or what, but I see it on a lot of other videos too. But it's not something to be afraid of guys, at least not with mine and at least other videos I've seen. Uh, what I do is you just can't be afraid, you just gotta reach in, pick them up. I always scoop them up guys. Listen, I've heard that possums make good pets, but uh, no thank you. And a lot of times like you'll know when they're getting irritated or you Better yet, you'll know when they need to go to the bathroom. This is a big hint. Like, if they're sitting on your shoulder and they've been sitting there for, I don't know, an hour, half hour, and they just start crawling all over your shoulder, like crawling down toward your pants, that's a good sign to put them down, guys, because what I found out with Remy is every time she does that, she's got to go to the bathroom. So if she starts climbing from my shoulder, around my neck, and then down to my pants. Uh, just let her down because that's a clear sign that they gotta go to the bathroom because possums will not defecate in the same place that they live. So if she plans on sitting on top of my shoulder, she's not obviously gonna go to the bathroom there. So that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to get down and go to the bathroom. Now, I'm going to assume that this is a wild wombat. And if so, why are the parents letting her touch it? Why? I guess technically you can't pet a wombat all day, every day, but Sandy doesn't really get that. She's so happy and excited that she never wants the affection to end, even when the staff members at the Sleepy Burrow Sanctuary in Australia are in the middle of cleaning her home. She's also really excited about the sprinkler she seems to have just discovered, but don't even think about not petting her, because clearly that's not even an option. So what the heck is going on here? This video shows a 2013 Hyundai i30 getting violated by a bunch of baboons. I guess they were trying to show how durable a Hyundai is. Pretty strange video. An interesting face off between a golden eagle and a fox. There were no attacks that happened. I'm guessing because they have some respect for each other. Ruger, no! Ruger! Ruger, no! Come on, Hazel, come with me. Ruger, no! Uh, bro, you better get your dog before he winds up being a pop tart for this big brown bear over there. Ruger luckily listened to its owner. Thank you. 
Oh my god, what are you doing? I don't know if you're a boy or a girl. Hi. Come on. Are you sure? You want to sit there? Oh, she's just... Imagine you go to get in your car and essentially there is a straight pit bull just chilling. Luckily, this one was a sweetheart and was just hungry and dehydrated. The nice strangers ended up taking them in and raising them. This bunny had a very interesting reaction to the vacuum cleaner and let its distaste be known. What's wrong? You don't like the vacuum cleaner. Don't like this. What happens when you get a bunch of monkeys and a bunch of bananas? Uh, not too hard to figure out what happens next, I bet you. Houston's home for news. We are back now with a worm warning. The hammerhead flatworm has been found right here in Houston. And the warning from experts comes with a couple of don'ts. Okay. Don't touch it, and not that you would, but don't cut it in half. It can reproduce by laying eggs or detaching part of its body and turning into two worms. It can regenerate and start growing from from there. The same could be the case if someone tries to cut it in half, but general curator for the Houston Zoo, Kevin Hodge, says that is not the only reason why you shouldn't touch them. These chemicals that they exude can, can be an irritant to your hand or your skin. Neurotoxins, both Hodge and Kuhlman say ward off predators and may also help in digestion of their favorite food, the earthworm. So you're telling me these alien-like worms regenerate? So if you cut them up in 10 pieces, it will turn out to be like 10 individual hammerhead flatworms? Oh, hell to the gnaw. Check out this grizzly bear running full speed. And I thought for sure it was coming for whatever unlucky person was holding this camera. Opossums show affection by a behavior called slubbing. What that is is he rubs all over my feet, my legs, my hands. Here is another pet possum. A bit too much for me. He likes to kiss you all over. It's bizarre, it's ridiculous. I feel really happy and relieved that I could help him live a life that he wouldn't have otherwise gotten to live. OMG, look how close this shark was to chomping this man's head off. Yikes. Check out a cat who is just looking for a little affection.
Hey son. Hey. Um, no, that's not a German Shepherd, folks. This is a real wolf. Like, for real. The wolf trying to get a little bite of that woman's backside. Very interesting video of a man's pet tarantula using its teeth to kind of feel its environment. Of course, with teeth like that, it wouldn't take too much to do damage if it was really trying to do that. So evidently, this tarantula was just chilling. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the best animal commentary on YouTube. I'm Curtis. Okay. See you next time. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No mean, no face, cause they're not factual. No, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. Second you switch up, they might get mad at you.